поворот направо на запрещающий сигнал поворот светофора. Right. Поворот. Turn, red, turn right on red. Uh, as far as I know, person writes, it's permitted in the US, but forbidden in Russia. Uh, please comment on this, if it's uh, good or bad, dangerous or not dangerous, and generally about this thing. The idea is that uh, you can make that right turn without waiting for the signal, so it saves, saves some time. However, um, the problem is uh, that the drivers then don't stop at the stop line. They stop on the pedestrian crossing very often. And then they are looking when the cars are not coming on the street that they're entering. And then they start going when they have time there. And they forgot to check whether there is a pedestrian. So we've had accidents uh, where turning cars hit pedestrians because of this uh, mm -hmm. uh, difficulty. Again, in some cases, very light traffic and so on, that is fine. But uh, otherwise, it's a, it's a step against, uh, against pedestrians, mm -hmm. seriously. So generally, you you not recommend to uh, do federal law that permitting? No, no, certainly not in Russia. Now there is a very big um, independent uh, person that for generally for livable cities, he has a project called Propki, Propki Net in, uh, in Russia. His name mm -hmm. is Alex Shumsky. And he's really pushing this idea of right turn and red. He even uh, talked about with this with Putin. And uh, they like uh, really pushing to implement this. So, but generally, you say that it's not a good idea to. Generally, I would be negative, especially in a country which has just entered the automobile age uh, ten years ago. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, in uh, countries which which started having a lot of automobiles in 1930s or 50s and so on the drivers become more tolerant, more careful, and not so hasty and uh, dashing high speed through the city and so on. In that case, you can consider to allow, and again, by location. We've, we've had that introduced nationally, but then in some cities, there are so many pedestrians that uh, many problems occurred, and you would really have to observe and control many intersections and we have very common signs no turn on red where it cannot be used mm -hmm. now in some cities where there are many cases like that the entire city prohibits right turn on red we have that also. but generally now the discussion in russia is to permit generally always right turn on red and to forbid it in some places or to forbid it generally but permit it in some places like it's now so it's not a good idea to... I, I think you should only allow it after careful study at individual places. Mm -hmm. Especially in Russia, I would not, because you still do not have drivers who will yield to pedestrian, for example. This, this person says that the right turn on red, if you permit, it makes the movement of vehicles like 12% faster in all of the city oh, and reduce will reduce uh, congestions by something like he giving huge percent i don't remember 30 or 20. okay so whenever true? you may, you consider some some innovation you should uh, consider what are the benefits from that but you should make sure you also include these benefits has that gentleman uh, looked into how many people have been hurt or killed by turning cars on red Mm -hmm. and there is statistics of that also, and, and that's certainly much more important than uh, if you save 12% of cars save a few minutes on their trips. And it can be really a very big impact of this if, if we implement this, for example. Is it a big impact, big impact on uh, congestion re reduced? That's I don't think we noticed a huge impact at once, no. Mm -hmm. Because this is very, like, uh, people like to take this decision that you push one button, you permit this, and it will now it will be everything good. No yeah, yeah, 